verse 2. Okay, please. Then the Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to move on. Tell the Israelites to move forward. Can anyone repeat that version? Is it King James? The forward part. Amen. And the Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forward. Ah, oh God, we thank you. Give the praise. This is your word in the name of Jesus. I feel like the Lord is saying right now that it is time to move forward. Speak it to local assembly, speak it to individuals, speak it to marriages in this place. It's time to move forward. You have been crying. Moses, you have been crying for long because at the back it is Pharaoh and his formidable fierce soldiers who looks like lions and lions and they are about to swallow you and the whole of Israelites and the Israelites don't have even a spear. They didn't go out with tools to fight. Yeah. And then in front of them is just the, 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 the waters as far as you can see. They had nowhere to go to. And then the people were blaming Moses. Is it, was, it, was it better for us to die? This, it was better for us to die in Egypt and to die sheer and to die in shame and to be killed by the Egyptians. It's such a shameful death. And then they complain to Moses as a leader who, who had a heart after God, God's own heart to the people of God. As a leader who had a skillful hand towards the people. He got pricked in his heart and he cried to the Lord and said, Lord, my people, your people will be perishing. Lord, what are we going to do? And I don't know how long he cried. But when the Lord says, why are you crying? That tells me that he cried for long. Yeah. I don't know if it's for days or it's for weeks, but it's not just he, 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 and then the Lord comes. He, they, he cried for long. We don't know how long, but he cried for long with a bitter heart, with a broken heart. Maybe even with a discouraged heart. I don't know. But then the Lord, when he answers, he said, why are you crying? Yeah. Tell the people to move forward. And I'm here to tell you today that the Lord is saying, why are you crying about that day? Yeah. Why are you crying about that day? It seems like it's a harsh statement. Because I expect the Lord to come and hug me. I expect the Lord to come and soothe me. And maybe cry with me if possible. And cry with me if possible. But the Lord didn't want to entertain the pity party. He didn't want to entertain the emotional part of it. Because he knew he wanted to teach them that I am God. I have not changed. Wow. And he said, he answered in a way that to us as human is harsh. Yeah. Why are you still crying? Why are you being a cry baby? Tell the people to decamp. Can you tell your neighbor, say, decamp. Yeah. Break camp. Break camp. Yeah. So tell the people to break the camp and move forward. Yeah. Tell the people to break the camp and move forward. Because they were putting time to whatever they sit down when they want the cloud kind of lingers and then stops. Then they have to take off their, their, their tents. Then they were traveling with their temporary tents. And then they have to put their temporary tent so they can sleep with their families inside for those few days and rest a bit. And then the Lord said, break the resting, break the camp. Everybody fold your tent. We, some of them they were hiding and crying in their tent, crying out to God, crying out to Moses. Maybe their wives otherwise would like to blame husbands. I told you that you want to go to out. You forced me to go with your Moses. I didn't want to go with your Moses. Now our children are going to die. What are you going to do to us? And then the husband is frustrated, crying out to God. When the wife is crying out to, to him and he's crying out to God in that tent. And the Lord broke through and said, break the camp. Stop the crying. Let the people move forward. I feel the Lord saying, move forward in the name of Jesus. You've been crying in 2022. I feel like the Lord is saying, 2023. Right now in this meeting, break the camp and move forward in the name of Jesus. You are in a hard place. You are in an impossible situation that no human being can solve. That no money that you have can solve. That no rich daddy that you have can solve. That no, no experienced surgeon or a doctor can heal you from that disease. But the Lord said, break camp and move forward. Move forward with that pain. Move forward with that that you have. As you move forward, I will break through. I just need you to break the camp. I want you to if you don't break the camp, I want to do the miracle while you are still crying and mourning about your situation. I want you are still crying about your situation, complaining that who has left me? He has left me. She has left me. My parents have, um, have isolated me. My parents have left me. I am an orphan. I am this and that. Crying. I say the church has spoken bad about me. The pastor doesn't take care of me. The church doesn't. 
take up whatever that you're crying about, whatever blame that you have, whatever bitterness that you have, the Lord won't break through in that situation until you break up and say, it's time for me to go forward. I might not have not stopped crying, but then I will break my camp while tears are coming out because the Lord is coming through for us. I'm taking my tent, I'm breaking it and I'm folding it, I'm getting it on my back and I'm walking forward with my tent. Jesus, when he saw the man who laid there for 38 years, who was laid in Bethlehem, who was a vegetable then, couldn't turn, couldn't twist himself, but needed people to throw him into the well of birth and there was no one to put him there on time. And everybody else who had a headache, oh yes, I can you Maybe in his mind said, this terrible Israelite, how can you go in for a headache when I am a vegetable here? Can't you just, just bear that headache and throw me in? You are so selfish. You are going on with as a minor pain because you can jump in. I, I can just imagine the bitterness of this man. Yeah. And maybe another person was healed last week, then they come again another week to be healed for another thing again. Yeah. They leaving this man here alone. Yeah. But then when the Lord comes in, oh, he said, please jump. He just tells him, take your mat, take your mat and walk. Take your mat and walk, take it and walk. Yeah. Stop crying, stop complaining. Yeah. Ah, stop crying, stop complaining about it. It's been 38 years, I know the pain has gone. I have been with you, I saw all your tears and I have cried more than you did. It's what the Lord told me another day. He said, you know what, you are crying right now, but I have cried about your situation more than you did. I felt this pain more than you did. Like parents feel the pain of their children more than their children because they come from their loins. It's how it happens. Even with God, it, it, it crushes his heart more than it crushes our heart. But when he comes, he doesn't come like a crushed parent. He comes with a parent of authority, a parent who has all power in all the universe who have all the glory in all the universe and say, break the camp, take your mat and walk. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Jesus. Yeah. 2023, our people to you, take your mat and walk. Yeah. That business that I'm not doing well, the business that was struggling, the Lord says that break the camp. Break it. Break it and start moving forward. I gave you the manuscript of your business to take it in this way, this way, but then you have been tried because you have been blocked by this rich business person who has blocked you. The Lord said, break it and start to walk. Start to walk even in this direction. As you walk towards this direction, I will come for you. Yeah. Is your marriage breaking? Yeah. Is your marriage in trouble? You've been crying day and night. The Lord said, take your time to fall in and start walking. Start walking in the fruitfulness of your marriage. Walk into your fruitfulness. Walk into it. And as you walk by faith, the Lord will do a miracle. Yeah. Whatever situation you are facing, get me a job. You have been applying for a job for a very long time. You have been crying for, for quite some time. Yeah. I feel the Lord so strongly, so strongly say, break the camp, walk. Yeah. Let my people move forward. Yeah. Is the way that I'm giving to you today. As the Lord, I'm saying, let my people move forward. Yeah. Let them move forward. Yes. And the Lord knew that when they start to move forward, and then Moses start to step on the waters. The waters will part. The waters were not going to part if they didn't move forward. They were going to face this formidable oceans before them. This many waters before them. If they cried that and not moved forward. They needed a step of faith. A kind of crazy faith moving into the ocean. And maybe when Father saw them, so oh Shem, they are discouraged, they are suicidal. They are going to throw themselves into the ocean. They are going to commit suicide and mass suicidal. Oh, we didn't think Moses an occult leader. I need to occult leader that can lead a mass suicidal by brainwashing and hypnotization. They thought maybe Moses had hypnotized the whole of Israel to do the mass suicide. Can they really know our God? Our God has given a specific order, a specific direction that led them Move forward, even though it moves, it looks like you're moving into your very death. Move forward. Sometimes in your business, it feels like your business, the, 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 the instruction the Lord has given you, it feels like you're moving into your own demise. Move forward. As soon as the word has released the word for you to move forward, move forward. Yeah. Some of you, the Lord's telling you to relocate from the current job that you have yeah. to go to the next job. I don't know what the next job is. Yeah. In this deliberated uh, economy, in this crushed economy, the Lord said, no, it's time for you to, to get out of this job, to go to the next job, but he has not shown you the next job. He said, my child, it's time for you to move forward. Yeah. Yeah. 
Take him at his word. Take him at his word. He moves like you're moving in a crazy direction, in a non logical direction. But move. The Lord says it's time to move forward. Come on. You have cried enough in 2023. Yeah. Wipe your tears. Break the camp. Yeah. Break the camp. De camp and move forward in the name of Jesus. In any anything, that thing that is in your mind, and you're saying, Kulus, are even this one? Yes, even that one. Yes, even that one. Yes, even that one. Yes, even that one. Even about your children, which are out of order. The Lord said, move forward with one, two, three, in according to your children who are on track. Move forward. Break up. Because he's not going to help you while you're crying in your tent, locking yourself in a tent. He wants you to take a step of faith towards the ocean, towards what looks like your suicide. It's not your suicide, it's your saving. It is your saving in the name of Jesus. Can we move forward in the name of Jesus? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that you take this word and you lay hold of it. And move forward by faith in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are not waiting for the economy to be better. We are not waiting for COVID to finish. Another round of COVID can come back. Let my people move forward. COVID or not move forward. They will bring another ailment. They will bring another period on COVID. But let the church move forward. The enemy meant to stop you by jobs, by economy, by COVID. You have cried. It's enough. Wipe your tears. Move forward in the name of Jesus. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Can we be on our feet in the name of Jesus Christ? Tell my people to move forward. Tell my people to move forward. How not? No explanation. Tell my people to move forward. No way to stop. Tell my people to move forward. No way to consolation. Lord. Tell my people to move forward. I've given a word. Let them move forward. Will they believe me with this harsh way? Tell them to move forward. And I'm telling you to move forward. I am a very sympathetic person by nature. But when the Lord tells you to move forward, I will tell you to move forward. Me, by being my new Kurufel, I want to cry with you. I want to hug you. I want to soothe you. I want to be there in the tent and say it will be okay. But the Lord is saying, break up in the name of Jesus. And I see the Lord will give some of us victories even this week when we start to move forward in the name of Jesus. Even the relationship that you have lost, the Lord will restore your relationship that you have lost. That meant so much to you when you start moving forward from your grief, leaving your grief behind, leaving the tears behind, leaving the complaint behind, leaving the unforgiveness behind of the people who have had to say, Lord, I'm moving forward. Even if I'm crying, even if I'm bleeding, I'm hemorrhaging forward because you get the word that I move forward. Move forward, child of God, in the name of Jesus. Move forward in the name of Jesus. Move forward in the name of Jesus. Would you commit yourself in prayer right now in the name of Jesus and receive grace to move forward? Start to pray in the name of Jesus. Receive the grace to move forward in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the grace to move forward. The boldness to move forward. 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 Godness to move forward. Godness to move forward. Godness to move forward. In the name of Jesus. Having no idea, but move forward. Having no idea, move forward. Having no plans, move forward. Having no money, move forward. Having no money, move forward. Shantamakadeh, you have a pastor time. Crazy thing will be made in the name of Jesus. Move forward in the name of Jesus. Move in the name of Jesus. Move in the name of Jesus. Move in the space, move in the sphere, move in that dimension, move in that direction in the name of Jesus. The Lord has been waiting to perform a miracle on the banks of the river. He has been waiting at the banks of the ocean. He has been waiting for you at the seashore. He said, I'm not waiting for you. I'm not waiting for you in your tent. I'm not waiting for you in your temple. I'm not waiting for you in your temple. I am on the seashore. I am on the seashore waiting for you. Walk towards me. Walk towards me. Walk towards me. Walk towards me. I am waiting for you on the river banks. Move to the river banks. Move to the seashore. The miracle will be performed when you move in that direction. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let your people see signs and wonders in their lives as they take a step of faith in 2023. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
Let your men and women see signs and wonders as they take a step of faith, as they take a step of faith, as they take a step of faith in 2023, in their ministries, in their careers, in their marriages, in their families, in their businesses, in every area of their lives. Lord, not miracles for them on a seashore. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I hear the Lord say, no comfort is coming, no comfort is coming. All you can is to move forward. No comfort is coming. Wait for no comfort. I am bringing no comfort. I'm bringing something better than comfort. I'm bringing something better than comfort. I'm bringing something better than consolation. I'm bringing the breaking forth. I'm bringing the breaking in. I'm bringing the breaking beneath. I'm going to break you out. And that's much better than a consolation. Much better than a comfort. Much better than soothing. I'm breaking you out. I'm breaking you out. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I hear the Lord even those who are addicted to sinful behaviors, to pornography, to sexual immorality, to homosexuality. It has been difficult for you to move forward. But the Lord said, I am on the seashore. Stop crying about your addiction that you are able to break out. He says, let's break camp and decamp and start to move to the seashore. There the seashore will open the waters for you. And the Egyptians of pornography, the Egyptians of homosexuality, the Egyptians of any addiction, you will never see them anymore. But you have to step forward. This Egyptian, you will see them as long as you are in your camp. This Egyptian, you will see them as long as you are dying in your camp, you will see these Egyptians. Move forward in the name of Jesus. Baba Barusha, me and the Bebeka. Sina Bebeka, the son of an Asharia and the Babeka. Sina Lele Sharia, Baba Kepetena. Help us to move forward, God. Help us to soldier on. Help us to progress. Help us not to regress. Jesus, my name. Get off the ashes, David. The baby is dead. But there is a Solomon to be made. As long as you are still in your ashes and weeping, David, there will be no Solomon. There is Solomon that is about to come, but David has to get off the ashes. And I pray in Jesus' mighty name that we may not mourn forever. Help us, O God. There is a time to lament, there is a time to weep, but there is a time to wipe all the ashes and move forward. Help us to move forward. Elijah, move forward. Move forward, Elijah. You will not defeat Jezebel as long as you are seated under the tree. Get off from under the tree, Elijah. Pray, warrior. There is no movement that will take place as long as you are in your comfort zone. Jonah, get off. Get off from under the tree. There are Ninevite souls to be warned. Dear evangelists, get off your comfort zone. There are souls to be warned. Lord, we repent for every vision that we have given us that is not being fulfilled because we have stayed in our comfort zones for too long, my God. We have been lamenting over spilled milk for too long. Forgive us in Jesus' mighty name. Help us to move on. Help us to move on. There is grace to move on in the name of Jesus. Help us to run this race, O God. Help us to stop counting our losses. There are greater gains ahead of us. Jesus, my name, thank you, Lord. Help us to stop lamenting of our devastations. There are kingdom victories that await us. Jesus, my name, thank you, Father. There are no breakthroughs in our lamenting. There are no breakthroughs in our weeping. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy must come in the morning. Lord, we bless your name for the joy that comes in the morning. Tell my people to move forward. Tell my people to progress. Tell my people to go further. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. There is grace only to move forward. There is no grace to go back. There is an anointing to move forward. There is no anointing to go back. You are empowered to cross the Red Sea. You are not empowered to go back to Egypt. The Spirit of the Lord is giving you strength to cross the Red Sea. Not to go back 
to a birthday. Cross it, cross it, cross it, cross it, cross it, you took it over the Jesus, my name. Baba, 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 Jesus. In 23, in 2023, you will sing a song. Pharaoh and his chariots have been cast into the Red Sea. We crossed on dry ground, but Pharaoh and his chariots have been cast into the midst of the sea, and we shall see victory belongs to Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you praise, we give you honor. We give you glory for the victory in Jesus. Let me just say, see the hands of those that are victorious. Lift up your hands and begin to give him praise. Give him praise. Give him honor. Give him glory. We are more than quite the rocks. We are moving further. We are moving further. We are going further. Jesus, we bless your wonderful name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Just lift up your hands. We receive this way. Thank you, Pastor Kuno. Thank you, Pastor Kuno. We receive this way, Father. Jesus. We cannot mourn forever. We cannot cry forever. Yes, you have lost your loved one, but it's time to just dust yourself off. Get up and do the dance and give you praise as you move forward. Praise the name of Jesus. Baba Siamo, Masiamo, Masiamo, Siamo. For the grace to move forward. Hallelujah. Your grace, your grace, your grace is sufficient. Paul, you cannot cry about the thorn in the flesh forever. Because in your weakness you are made strong. I know you have a thorn in your flesh, oh Paul. But the grace of God is sufficient. The grace of God is sufficient. Praise God. Just lift up your hands. Father, I pray for the grace to move forward. I pray for someone right now who's been crying and crying non-stop. In our crying non-stop, we don't glorify you. You don't receive the glory in our non-ceasing, non-ceasing weeping. You have allowed us to cry. You do allow us to weep. But it must just be for a season. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And I pray right now, Father, that your children be ushered into the joy of the morning. In Jesus' mighty name, may you usher your children into the morning, morning joy. In the name of Jesus, the night is coming to an end. The night is coming to an end. And help us to move into the joy of the morning. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, we pray for someone who has lost their loved one and it still hurts and somehow they cannot get over it. I pray in Jesus' mighty name for speedy recovery. Speedy recovery. Accelerated healing. Accelerated healing. I pray for someone, Father, who's been hurt and there are things they've been struggling with right from childhood, oh God, and into their adulthood, they've been dragging this pain. I pray, Father, that they may move forward in Jesus' mighty name. Father, heal them from that pain. Heal them from that abuse. Heal them, Father, from that emotional hurt. In Jesus' name. In 2023, they will not carry their wounds. In 2023, they will not carry their emotional hurt. Because you are God who heals. In Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we exalt you. Thank you for the grace. For the grace to move forward. In Jesus' name. Just lift up your hands. You are blessed in the city. You are blessed in the fields. You are blessed when you come and you are blessed when you go. The blessing of Abraham is yours. You are heads and you are not tails. You are above circumstances and not under. The Spirit of the Lord is upon you. God is helping you to move forward. God is helping you to progress. God is helping you to conquer whatever is standing before you. Every obstacle, every hindrance, every, every stumbling block, you are overcoming in Jesus' mighty name. You will not stagnate. You will not stagnate, child of God. You will not be caught in the same rut forever. In Jesus' mighty name, you are moving forward. In the name of Jesus, you are highly favored. You are blessed with every, every, every manner of blessing. In Jesus' name, if you believe it, say amen. Say amen. Before we go home, we don't want to assume that every one of you knows Jesus as Lord and Savior. 